Tiger's scheduler extension was designed for mostly businesses who spend a lot of time in their calendar and use it mostly for scheduling. Let's take a look at our extension first. To access it, you would go directly to your calendar in VTiger, and then you would see a new button, Job Scheduler. Click on that, and it would open a scheduler view for that day. So as you can see, we can see the schedule for a day, a week, or a month. You can also set a custom date range and just select certain days or a date range. Let's go back to our day view and the way it's different from the standard VTiger calendar is that in this case you can see the users as rows in the calendar compared to standard VTiger the users are as columns so it's not really helpful if you have a lot of users and that's the limitation of the standard VTiger calendar now you can add additional users by just hitting add calendars or you can turn them on and off so for now, we'll just keep it as is and move on with the demo. So the next nice thing about the scheduler is that it actually supports custom colors. You can pick the colors per user or per status. So in this case, what we did is we configured this demo to color code the tiles and boxes based on the activity status. For example, if I were to hit Add Event and select one of the statuses with the color, that would then automatically color the tile on the calendar. So it's very helpful to distinguish between different types of events and statuses. Colors can be configured in the Picklist Editor, which we'll get to at the end of the demo. Next, we have ability to see and configure the tile text. You can see made a green job at Oak Street as well as the phone number. So as I hover over it, it gives me the information from related contact that is merged onto this tile. You can see we have the title, who the contact is, the address, the phone numbers, actually a few of them, the full address of the job, and then the description, and from into time slot. And you can also hit to complete, edit, or delete. Again, this text right here is fully customizable in the configuration area, which we'll get to in a second. And the tile text itself, it only shows two rows of the configured description text. So it, it gives you some flexibility to configure what goes under this tile as well versus just the preview. So let's go into the week view and I just want to show how easy it is to reschedule and drag and drop events from one user or date to another. So you can simply select the event, drag it, it then gets automatically updated. You can also click to edit. It's very convenient and easy to use. So let's get into the configuration mode. So under settings, we have ability to select our start and end time in the day view, the default duration, default view to schedule. That means that every time you open the calendar, instead of it opening the standard VTiger calendar, you can always open the scheduler by default. So you don't have to do that extra click. And you can select to either use or don't your color for status. And I'll show you where those configured in a second. And then the default view type, so depends on your processes, but you can select day, week, or month to default for the type. Um, so next, let's take a look how the text on these boxes can be configured. So under settings, it says click here to configure tile and hover text. Let's do that. And you can see here we have text for events and tasks. If I hit to edit, we'll set yes to apply the custom text and here you can put in any text or select from the fields that are related to this activity or task. You can see all the fields are available from the actual activity, related user, organization contact ticket project or any other record that an activity is linked to. So it's very flexible and gives you all the information you need right on the calendar. 
and then the same applies to tasks. Next, let's go back to your calendar and we want to configure the colors, let's say. So to configure the status colors, we would go into Customize and Pick List Values. So that is done under Select Module, which is Events, and under Status. So this is how you can add new statuses as well as change existing statuses and their colors. So that covers the scheduler extension for VTiger.